This is the Word of God, a powerful, life-changing set of books including history, law, poetry, prophecy, the good news of Jesus, and more. In about 15 minutes per day, you can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear what God has done. Let's read. 2 Kings chapter 15 In the twenty-seventh year of Jeroboam king of Israel, Azariah son of Amaziah king of Judah began to reign. He was sixteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jechaliah of Jerusalem. He did that which was right in the Lord's eyes, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and burned incense in the high places. The Lord struck the king, so that he was a leper to the day of his death, and lived in a separate house. Jotham, the king's son, was over the household, judging the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Azariah, and all that he did, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in David's city, and Jotham his son reigned in his place. In the thirty-eighth year of Azariah king of Judah, Zechariah the son of Jeroboam reigned over Israel and Samaria six months. He did that which was evil in the Lord's sight, as his fathers had done. He didn't depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel to sin. Shalom the son of Jabesh conspired against him, and struck him before the people, and killed him, and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the Lord's word which he spoke to Jehu, saying, Your sons to the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. So it came to pass. Shalom the son of Jabesh began to reign in the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah king of Judah, and he reigned for a month in Samaria. Menahem the son of Gadi went up from Terzah, came to Samaria, struck Shalom the son of Jabesh in Samaria, killed him, and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Shalom and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Then Menahem attacked Tifsa and all who were in it and its border areas from Terzah. He attacked it because they didn't open their gates to him, and he ripped up all their women who were with child. In the thirty-ninth year of Azariah king of Judah, Menahem the son of Gadi began to reign over Israel for ten years in Samaria. He did that which was evil in the Lord's sight. He didn't depart all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel to sin. Pul the king of Assyria came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul one thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. Menahem extracted the money from Israel, even from all the mighty men of wealth, from each man fifty shekels of silver, to give to the king of Assyria, so the king of Assyria turned back and didn't stay there in the land. Now the rest of the acts of Menahem and all that he did, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahiah his son reigned in his place. In the fiftieth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekahiah the son of Menahem began to reign over Israel and Samaria for two years. He did that which was evil in the Lord's sight. He didn't depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel to sin. Pekah the son of Ramalia, his captain, conspired against him and attacked him in Samaria, in the fortress of the king's house, with Argob and Aria, and with him were fifty men of the Gileadites. He killed him and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Pekahiah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the fifty-second year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekah the son of Ramaliah began to reign over Israel in Samaria for twenty years. He did that which was evil in the Lord's sight. He didn't depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekah king of Israel, tiglath pileser king of Assyria came and took Ijon, abelbeth Maacah, Genoa, Kedesh, Hazor, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali and he carried them captive to Assyria. Hoshea the son of Elah made a conspiracy against Pekah the son of Ramalia, attacked him, killed him, and reigned in his place, in the twentieth year of Jotham the son of Uzziah. Now the rest of the acts of Pekah, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. 
In the second year of Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusa, the daughter of Zadok. He did that which was right in the Lord's eyes. He did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and burned incense in the high places. He built the upper gate of the Lord's house. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, aren't they written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days, the Lord began to send Rezin the king of Syria and Pekah the son of Ramalia against Judah. Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in his father David's city, and Ahaz his son reigned in his place. 2 Kings chapter 16 In the seventeenth year of Pekah the son of Ramalia, Ahaz the son of Jotham king of Judah began to reign. Ahaz was twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. He didn't do that which was right in the Lord his God's eyes, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and even made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. He sacrificed and burned incense in the high places, on the hills, and under every green tree. Then Rezin, king of Syria, and Pekah, son of Ramalia, king of Israel, came up to Jerusalem to wage war. They besieged Ahaz, but could not overcome him. At that time Rezin, king of Syria, recovered Elath to Syria, and drove the Jews from Elath, and the Syrians came to Elath, and lived there to this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to tiglath pileser king of Assyria, saying, I am your servant and your son. Come up, and save me out of the hand of the king of Syria, and out of the hand of the king of Israel, who rise up against me. Ahaz took the silver and gold that was found in the Lord's house, and in the treasures of the king's house, and sent it for a present to the king of Assyria. The king of Assyria listened to him, and the king of Assyria went up against Damascus and took it, and carried its people captive to Ker, and killed Rezin. King Ahaz went to Damascus to meet tiglath pileser king of Assyria, and saw the altar that was at Damascus, and King Ahaz sent to Urijah the priest a drawing of the altar and plans to build it. Urijah the priest built an altar. According to all that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus, so Urijah the priest made it for the coming of King Ahaz from Damascus. When the king had come from Damascus, the king saw the altar, and the king came near to the altar and offered on it. He burned his burnt offering and his meal offering, poured his drink offering, and sprinkled the blood of his peace offerings on the altar. The bronze altar, which was before the Lord, he brought from the front of the house, from between his altar and the Lord's house, and put it on the north side of his altar. King Ahaz commanded Urijah the priest, saying, On the great altar burn the morning burnt offering, the evening meal offering, the king's burnt offering and his meal offering, with the burnt offering of all the people of the land, their meal offering and their drink offerings, and sprinkle on it all the blood of the burnt offering, and all the blood of the sacrifice. But the bronze altar will be for me to inquire by. Urijah the priest did so, according to all that King Ahaz commanded. King Ahaz cut off the panels of the bases, and removed the basin from off them, and took down the sea from off the bronze oxen that were under it, and put it on a pavement of stone. He removed the covered way for the Sabbath that they had built in the house, and the king's outer entrance to the Lord's house, because of the king of Assyria. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaz which he did, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Ahaz slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in David's city, and Hezekiah his son reigned in his place. Chapter 17 In the twelfth year of Ahaz king of Judah, Hoshea the son of Elah began to reign in Samaria over Israel for nine years. He did that which was evil in the Lord's sight, yet not as the kings of Israel who were before him. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up against him, and Hoshea became his servant and brought him tribute. The king of Assyria discovered a conspiracy in Hoshea, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and offered no tribute to the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria seized him and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land, 
went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away to Assyria and placed them in Hala and on the Haber, the river of Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. It was so because the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods, and walked in the statutes of the nations whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and of the kings of Israel, which they made. The children of Israel secretly did things that were not right against the Lord their God, and they built high places for themselves in all their cities, from the tower of the watchman to the fortified city, and they set up for themselves pillars and asherah poles on every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burned incense in all the high places, as the nations whom the Lord carried away before them did. And they did wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger, and they served idols, of which the Lord had said to them, You shall not do this thing. Yet the Lord testified to Israel and to Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes, according to all the law which I commanded your fathers, and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not listen, but hardened their neck like the neck of their fathers who didn't believe in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, and his testimonies which he testified to them. And they followed vanity, and became vain, and followed the nations that were around them, concerning whom the Lord had commanded them that they should not do like them. They abandoned all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made molten images for themselves, even two calves, and made an Asherah, and worshipped all the army of the sky, and served Baal. They caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, used divination and enchantments, and sold themselves to do that which was evil in the Lord's sight, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. Also Judah didn't keep the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the statutes of Israel which they made. The Lord rejected all the offspring of Israel, afflicted them, and delivered them into the hands of raiders, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he tore Israel from David's house, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king, and Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord, and made them sin a great sin. The children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam which he did. They didn't depart from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he said by all his servants the prophets. So Israel was carried away out of their own land to Assyria to this day. The king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, from Kutha, from Ava, and from Hamath and Sepharvaim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria and lived in its cities. So it was, at the beginning of their dwelling there, that they didn't fear the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. Therefore they spoke to the king of Assyria, saying, the nations which you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria don't know the law of the God of the land. Therefore he has sent lions among them, and behold, they kill them, because they don't know the law of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry there one of the priests whom you brought from there, and let him go and dwell there, and let him teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they carried away from Samaria came and lived in Bethel, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. However, every nation made gods of their own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had made, every nation in their cities in which they lived. The men of Babylon made succoth Beneth, and the men of Cuth made Nergal, and the men of Hamath made Ashima, and the Avites made Nibhaz and Tartak, and the Sepharvites burned their children in the fire to Adremelech and Anamelech, the gods of Sepharvaim, so they feared the Lord, and also made from among themselves priests of the high places for themselves, who sacrificed for them in the houses of the high places. They feared the Lord, and also served their own gods, after the ways of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. To this day they do what they did before. 
they don't fear the Lord, and they do not follow the statutes or the ordinances or the law or the commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel, with whom the Lord had made a covenant and commanded them, saying, You shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But you shall fear the Lord, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm, and you shall bow yourselves to him, and you shall sacrifice to him. The statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, you shall observe to do forevermore. You shall not fear other gods. You shall not forget the covenant that I have made with you. You shall not fear other gods. But you shall fear the Lord your God, and he will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. However, they didn't listen, but they did what they did before. So these nations feared the Lord, and also served their engraved images. Their children did likewise, and so did their children's children. They do as their fathers did to this day.